Hi everyone, Peter Lisiaga here, a master instructor at Donato Karate Center, and I wanted to share a video giving my take on helping our children just feel great about themselves, have this self-worth, and have feelings of, just have self-esteem, value themselves to see their value, see how they fit in, and how important they are, not only to us as parents, but to the family, to the community, to the world. Today we had a board bash, we had a, one of our events, this is what's great about having events at our karate school, that our, our events are designed to really, not only to help kids have a great, enjoyable time at our karate school, but to really help build them up, let them see what they're learning on the training floor and apply that to everyday events and so we create these events to be fun but really to help our children see how they've grown and put to use some of the things that we teach on the floor like focus discipline working hard toward a goal and building getting stronger and really just seeing their strengths their value and so we had our board bash and it went great everyone had a great time however we do have students that are still struggling building their self-esteem I had a couple of parents come up to me and ask that I speak to their kids and just really help their kids see value and have self-esteem I spoke to the kids I gave them a pep talk and let them know what I saw in them and how they are growing and developing and getting stronger I did make some appointments to do some private lessons to do one-on-one -on -one, uh, training with the kids to really pump them up to expose their strengths not to me but expose their strengths to themselves but I wanted to make this video and just give you some more information and what I tend to do after I have conversations with parents I do a little bit I do some research just to back up some of the things that I've learned over the decades and I've been doing this for about 20 years working with students and teaching them martial arts and self-esteem and focus and all the things that we do teach in martial arts I tend to do some more research just to get some updated information and that's what I did today so I want to share with you one of my most important takeaways from an article that I read that I read on an, uh, a website called kidshealth.org and if you want to link the links right below this video or somewhere on this page my biggest takeaway was this not to be harsh and criticize our children and I, I see this often I struggle with this myself to uh, really not when I see my child doing something that uh, they're struggling through I have a tendency to, to have this harsh criticism to really criticize them you know oh what are you doing you're, you're, you're not doing that right and do this better or, are you always so lazy or you're not working hard enough or gosh you could have done better so I get really harsh in my criticism of all the things that I saw in this one article about tips and what self-esteem is and and how we can help our children have more self-esteem the thing that jumped out to me, that was my big takeaway for me, was not being harsh, criticizing my child or criticizing my students. I wanted to make that as a reminder. Some of the notes that I took in my journal uh, as I was reading this article was, first of all, uh, self-esteem is the result of experiences that help a child uh, feel that they are capable and effective and also accepted feel capable effective and are accepted so I pause quickly on that and I wanted to make sure that am I doing that as an instructor as a parent that uh, when I see my child struggling with something or I see them really strong in something taking that opportunity to help them feel that they are capable that they can get through whatever they are uh, uh, looking to get through and also feel that they have uh, what it takes to be effective in getting through that challenge that they have what it takes to get through that challenge and if they don't if they need to work a little bit harder that they do have the the, uh, the drive and the strength to work hard to rise above the challenge and simply just work harder and be effective in that and then here's a big thing for me is the fact that they are accepted that I accept them as a teacher as a parent if it's my child that they are acceptable 
that even at their lowest points, that they are still, still acceptable. And I remember uh, at times when I speak to my own children, that you know, there's nothing that they can do that I would love them any less or any more. So if they make a mistake, it doesn't change how I feel about them. If they fall flat on their face and they get everything wrong, that doesn't change how I feel about them. And if they get everything right, if they're perfect, they get straight A's and they get you know the gold medal all the time, it doesn't change how I feel about them. That's always going to be con constant, that they are accepted. And this is important for our children to hear that, to know that, and to feel that. I stopped and paused on this one thing, harsh criticism, because whatever we say to our children, whether it's a, as a parent or as a teacher, whatever we say to a child, they will take that and they will absorb it. And then their actions will then uh, be inspired by that or be motivated by that. What we say and will be taken in from uh, with our children and they will absorb it, they will they will put that in their memory, in their hearts, and their actions will then respond to that. So it's very important that we watch what we say with our children, encourage them. Now, every time they do make a mistake, we, that's an opportunity for us to have them stop and pause and look at how they can overcome that. How can they make it right next time? Every mistake, every failure is an opportunity for us to teach, to learn, and to teach our children how they can make it right next time to build up to really work towards that so if they don't get that gold medal they get silver medal or bronze medal or runner-up medal it's an opportunity for us to show them you know how they can get stronger next time to work toward it and you know I'm, I'm all for praising our children but I'm definitely not for praising our children when they're uh, when um, they have a lesson where they can learn from so that they can then do better next time. And all our kids have gifts, they have talents, and if we can help our children find those gifts and those talents and maximize those gifts and talents, I believe we will serve our children uh, even greater. If they can understand what they're great at, because you know, if I have a parent that comes to me and says, you know what, my child just not, did not do well there, that might not be their gift their talent. However, if I can help that child see themselves get better next time, they may never get the gold medal in a particular event. Like for instance, the board break. There will always be someone out there that will break more boards or, or, or have a better break. If we can teach our children to learn in that lesson and take that learning experience as a victory, then they will always be a champion. And I just thought I, want, I, just thought I should share that with parents out there, teachers out there, to help our children uh, see value in themselves. And not so much because of the trophy, but because of the lesson learned, and because that they are, uh, they do have strengths and talents, and that that will be the asset that's going to help them be part of solutions in the world. I sure hope that's helpful. If you want uh, to connect with me, you sure can. Thank you for spending the time with me. Have a great day. Talk to you guys soon.